Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to look at the basics of FX Master. FX Master is used to add in additional weather effects, colors, filters, spell effects, and much more into your game. Let's go ahead and start off with the weather effects that this module brings in. The first thing we want to do is go over to the left hand side to effect controls. Up to the top where we have weather controls, click that. And here we can adjust lots of different options, such as adding in rain. And I can click this and increase the density, the speed, change the direction, the scale, as well as even add a color tint as well. After you have everything that you the, in the way that you want it, you just click the box and click Save Changes, and the map will change to show the rain coming in. You can do the same thing for a number of other effects as well, such as clouds. I can have, if I want, pink clouds, or let's say purple clouds, rolling in. I just need to check the box, make the changes I want, and click Save Changes. And then purple clouds will slowly appear on the map. Those look a bit more pink. So you can see there are a number of changes you can make, which is very powerful and can add a lot of, well, scenery to your scene. If you like a particular setup for weather and you find that you're using it very often, you can click here at the top, export weather as macro. That will create a macro which you can find in your macro folder. And then with one click, you can have that same weather effect come up all at once. Let me show you how that works. So down here is the exported weather. If I click it, the scene I just created with the pink clouds and the rain will come in right away. So this is very useful if you find yourself using the same weather repeatedly. Next, let's take a look at how you can change the color tint of your scene. So over here, you can go to Colorize Effects, click the Tint button, and change the color as you desire. This particular scene, I want to give it a light green feel, so I'm going to select that and then click Save Changes. And we can see that the scene slowly shifts to a light green, or more of a rainforest green. When you are finished, you can just uncheck the box tint, click Save Changes, and your map will revert to the way it was before. FX Master additionally comes with a number of other filters as well, such as an underwater filter, a predator filter, an old film full filter, as well as a bloom filter. As a final note, FX Master comes packaged with some special effects. Some of these are designed by the creator of FX Master, but some are made by other creators and used with their permission, such as the smoke bomb effect. You can click the effects and click on the scene to make the effects appear. You can also add in your own effects as well that can be used here. So if you have downloaded any of the other content packs for animated spells, you can add those in to the FX Master pop-out window right here. We'll find FX Master macros in the compendium after installing this module, some of which can be used to help increase the functionality of the spell effects, as well as the other parts of this module as well. Let's take a look at the macro cast spell. Looking at the macro cast spell, we can see this line here is pretty important. This line is referencing the web M of one of the animated spells. You could change this line and play around with it and see how it works with other spells as well, as well as changing some of the other features of this macro, but I will not go too into depth about that right now. Let's see how this macro works. Save. Right now I'm targeting the wolf. I have selected the hobgoblin and I'm going to click the macro cast spell on my macro bar we can see a line of acid shoots out at the wolf as I click the macro. I hope this video has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. I will help as much as I can. Thanks everyone.